folks at Lockheed Martin are watching closely. Insight is their baby, built and tested right here at their facility near Waterton Canyon. Dylan Thomas is at the Lockheed campus in Littleton right now. So the mood there has to be, I don't know, nervous, excited, maybe a little both, Dylan? Well, Alan, based on how you would look around this room, calm and collected, to say the least. Everybody just kind of doing their job, especially as we head into less than an hour until InSight makes its way to the surface of Mars. Not if, but when this is successful. This will be the first time in the last six years that humans have successfully landed a device on the surface of Mars. And the staff here at Lockheed Martin, as you can see behind me, they're Coloradans who played a big role in making this all possible. InSight has been flying to Mars for more than seven months now, and today is the big day. The descent into Mars starts around 1245 Colorado time, where InSight will rocket towards Mars going more than 12,000 miles per hour. It will then parachute its way down to the surface, slowing down to about five miles per hour as it lands. InSight was mostly built here in Colorado, and the mission costs more than $800 million, but there is an eight-minute delay in communication between here on Earth and Mars, so the team has absolutely no control for the most part of what's going to happen between now and there. It's all robotics that are programmed. Those who help develop InSight say they will get a signal that InSight is officially on its descent. But by the time that message gets back to Earth that it's descending, it'll either have already crashed or landed. Really exciting time. Um, getting to this point um, is, is, is an amazing point. The, the Lockheed Martin team, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory team has just worked uh, seamlessly. Um, and we're in a great spot right now. The spacecraft is right where it needs to be as it gets ready to enter the Martian atmosphere. So really excited. The team is really excited. Um, obviously, there's anticipation with entry, descent, and landing. Also, a little nerves. Um, it's a very challenging. Um, anytime you want to land on another planet, very challenging, but very exciting at the same time. And we're very confident it's going to be a very, very good day. Definitely exciting time around here. They're going to be gathering up in a control room area to watch the descent. Once again, they won't have any visuals of this actually happening. They'll just get a radio signal that's on an eight minute delay. So by the time they figure out that it's either landed or crashed, it's already happened about eight minutes ago. So pretty exciting, but also a pretty nerve wracking time for those here at Lockheed Martin. Live in Littleton, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Dylan, thank you very much. NASA's the only ones who've been successful to land on Mars. Other countries just haven't been able to quite do it.